Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I got a cool little toy in the mail today. It is a coating thickness gauge. I have had several of these. I do not rely on them when I'm doing paint correction. It's, there's, the bottom line is these inexpensive, even the most expensive ones aren't very good at doing what they're supposed to do. And that's deciding which or how many, how much thickness of each layer there is on the substrate. But the problem is that people think that this gives you a great idea of how much clear you can take off when you're doing paint correction. That's not the case. This measures the total thickness of everything on top of the metal. So primer, base coat, clear coat, could be some Bondo down there or whatever. Um, but the bottom line is it does a great job of showing you basically if a panel has been damaged or changed or resprayed or whatever. Um, so for that reason, I picked one up. I wanted to show you guys the difference between one solid coat of the new clear coating, clear coat thing, Still haven't decided what to call it. It is literally a clear coat, but it's also a coating, if you will. So with that said, we got this bad boy right here, right next to a panel. Now, in this video, you should be able to tell how glossy the front of that fender is compared to the back. So that has the coating on it this does not i did do what's crazy is when i sprayed that i actually sprayed it uh, you're gonna lose your mind literally i sprayed it with this this is a airless spray gun it is an electric spray gun for basically house paint i sprayed my coating on the front of that fender with that and it looks amazing. Um, it was incredibly orange peeled at first. This is probably, I want to say six or seven days old now. So it's, it's definitely cured. Um, but I mean, you can tell, I mean, yes, I polished that. I did a gloss, gloss enhancing polish with smart finish up there and an orange buff and shine pad, um, with a dual action polisher then i wiped with acetone i wiped with isopropyl alcohol and then i sprayed on the coating that's what happened there this section has not been polished at all you can see the writing on it from the junkyard um but the crazy difference in gloss is awesome so what we're going to do uh, i want to show you in this video I have already taken this out of the package and whatnot, calibrated it and all of the things. So, hold on a second. Got him. All right, so coating thickness gauge. All right, we'll go right here, right by the line. All right, 9.34 mils. Now we're gonna go right inside the line where we have material, 10.77. So right here we got the one reading, right here we get another reading. And the only difference is that coating. So we are leaving material behind. Oh my God, look at that gloss, goodness. Um, this stuff will not yellow, will not crack, will not peel. It is crazy. We, we put some awesome UVA and UVB inhibitors in it. Great sun protection. Again, will not yellow, will not crack, will not peel. It's awesome. And as you saw, it does add thickness, which is exactly what you want from a coating uh, like this that's more like a clear coat than an actual coating. You are adding thickness to your clear, which means you're gonna get a lot more depth and you can see it right there in that reflection and the gloss is insane so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble 
And as you saw, we got some true readings from not with the, the nuclear coating and with the nuclear coating. So um, we're adding material. That's what a lot of you guys want. You want to build up that thickness layer. And this is good stuff, guys. Look, I can tell you whatever I want, but when you guys start using this in your pro detailing business, because this is not going to be available to uh, just anybody, I ended up having to literally, look, I'm at the very beginning of uh, this season when I was really, really trying to um, test this stuff inside and out and really get some good readings on um, how I liked it, how it how it was going to react in our environment and all of that stuff. I started using this stuff and I had to figure it out fast. And so now we've got so much to look forward to, but if you are a general consumer, I'm not gonna sell this to you. It's not gonna be available on the website. You will have to be a pro detailer because at the beginning, like I was trying to say, I was doing a set of headlights and I kind of globbed it on and it dried kind of fast and I had to sand it down. I had to sand it all off and then reapply it. Um, I had to get it level and even and, and that's just work that somebody with, with experience needs to do. So this stuff will not be available to the general public. I have to approve you. If I feel you have the skills uh, to apply it, then I'll sell it to you. It is what it is, but I'm not trying to put it in the hands of somebody who can't deal with it because I just don't have time to sit on the phone trying to help them figure things out. That's the bottom line. Um, but uh, can't deny the gloss, the depth, and all of the amazing that is the new clear coat ing. All right, guys. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. You'll learn more about this coating and the other coatings on that group. And uh, if you've got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. What other product line manufacturer gives you his personal cell phone number? I'll answer that for you. None. So thank you guys for watching. If you need me, let me know. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me babble. And if you want one of these because you're in the auto like flipping cars business, perfect. This will tell you what's been done to the car or give you a great indication if one panel has more mils of thickness than another, you know it's been painted. So uh, if you got questions for me, let me know. Uh, again, my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.